Hey guys, it's Dorian. Uh, first of all, I just want to excuse my voice. I've got a bit of a cold going on. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to quickly show uh, what the system I built up is using in uh, CPU and memory usage. So I'm just going to boot up my virtual machine because this gives a, a, a bit better of an accurate uh, result of what it would run on a real machine because uh, it's running in its own little box. So I've got my desktop environment here so I'm just going to start up Terminator and I'm going to fire up top. So as you can see my uh, idle time for the CPU is about a uh, hundred ninety nine percent. It's really doing nothing and my memory used is a hundred and sixty megabytes which is fairly decent, I must say. And uh, as you can see, I've got full working desktop environment. I have uh, a taskbar. I've got all my applications here. I've got a file manager. I'm running Chrome. And uh, I've even installed Spotify. So what I'm using is uh, just OpenBox and uh, I've made a couple of changes. I've also tried a couple of different things uh, just to minimize usage. So I'm using, uh, if I go to my open box auto start, you can see everything that I'm using here. So I've got Tint2, which is my taskbar, Nitrogen, which lets you set your background, uh, XComp MGR, which gives you your transparency effects and you know nice shadows and stuff around the windows. Um, Plank. I was using Docky before, but Plank uses less resources. It just doesn't have the nice animations. And uh, Vaulty, which is the little volume control icon here. Other than that, that's all I have. Like I said, I'll just kill Tint2 here. I tried a couple of other different options that are available. So FB Panel, which is a different type of uh, taskbar panel, um, but and it also comes with a little uh, start button to access your applications. Uh, that used more memory. I also tried LX panel, which comes with LXDE or uh, Lubuntu, and it also has this. It also used more memory. Um, Tint2 uses the least amount of resources. And I had to do a bit of a hack, but I was able to add this little button here, which brings up the right-click menu. And using the open menu or open box dash menu package, and adding a pipe, I was able to have an applications option here to access all my installed applications. So yeah, that's it. Um, just wanted to quickly show how it was set up. Oh, I lost my taskbar here. It'll start up again. It's just because I killed it. So when I close the Terminator, it, it kills it also. But yeah, that's about it. Um, oh, and I added a little simple script to uh, ask me if I want to shut down or ask me if I want to reboot. I can actually show you that real quick. I just put it in scripts. It just uses Xenity to pop up a little question if you want to shut down or not. And that was added in uh, OB menu, shut down, and just execute this script here. So yeah, that's it. Anyways, till next time.